don't do a lot of work at the track, we do it at home, but we seem to be able to get them going pretty well. They never never know what they're going to do, where, they, where they're going to go, uh, which track uh, they're, um, they're going to be on. I think the horses enjoy it more than a factory training. It's, um, it's more the horse and the, and the environment. saying 20 years you've had an involvement uh, with him. How important has the Nelson family been to you? Oh, um, I don't really know what to say, but amazing. Like, um, friends, support, anything. Like, they just backed me the whole way. Um, I've had quite a decent illness. I've got a liver and kidney transplant, and the whole way through they've backed me, um, kept me employed. Yeah. <laughs> and so, um, it's always just hard to say thank you, but you can never thank people enough that have looked out for you like that. Yeah. She um, went away and, and had a go at training on her own for a while, and man, she's been back, and we yeah, it's just been a great team. Towards the one by the 1200 metres mark they go and it's the Cossack with his head back in front. Talk time sticking like a mother-in-law on the outside. The Cossack calling on all his championship qualities of which there are many and that is why he's a beauty. The Cossack wins the signature home to Waikato steeplechase. Jumps racing at his absolute best with the Cossack taking the race out. Train some champions in your time, but boy, this guy, he's right out there, isn't he? Oh, he's, he is. He, 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 he would be the best. Fair play to that horse, man. It's, it's, it's the best horse I've ever sat with. The Cossack, I oh, would call him Crafty, so I have to say Crafty, it's the Cossack. He's incredible. He just, he's a bit of a freak, really. He put in a pretty big effort at Waikato. That was pretty ballsy, I reckon. <laughs> um, dug pretty deep, but he came home and he was full of himself, so that's why we ran them on the flat, just to take a bit of smartness out, just to, to settle down. You've got to... Yeah. A job to do. Watching him today, he certainly looks as well as hands can make him. Yeah, he did. Um, we're very pleased with him, and, and the girls do a great job. Edwin, uh, where, where's he at this season? Yeah, he's, he appears like he's a bit behind. Um, bit behind the eight ball but I was impressed with how he worked this morning and, and whether his run on last Saturday sharpened him up a bit, um, it could be. Bit of a head scratcher but he hasn't had those wet loose tracks which might be the key to him and now he's had a few runs he should be about right. Yeah, yeah. we haven't got any rain in the forecast though. No I know. <laughs> <laughs> but hey it didn't rain at um, Tarapa when he won the Northern either. Yeah. And uh, if everything goes right for him, he's clearly right up to the ground. Yeah, yeah, and he likes Wellington. He's had a bit of success there. Probably hasn't been the winter you wanted it for a uh, uh, Taika. Um, maybe, you know, the conditions have been a bit too dry, but gee, he was good last time. Yeah, he, he was very good, and he would improve. He, he still looks quite, um, you know, quite big in condition, but I think we've got him pretty right. He's moved up and taken the lead. Tigers trying to come back. There's little between them to the last. Bury the cash. Gets over in front of Tiger. They're going to continue their winning spree. Porsche Matthews and Bury the cash get there. I think the more time you put in early um, and getting them up, the longer um, the longer they'll stay in. I'd like them to be fit on the first day and fit on the last day of the jumping season. Still learning things off, Paul. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.